I am 22, and this incident happened a year and a half ago. I had just moved into my first apartment and was in the process of moving in. Now the door that led into my apartment locked itself automatically when closed. So I was going to the entrance of the apartment complex to get my mail while talking on the phone with my boyfriend. I returned to my apartment and sat on the bed while opening the mail while using the phone. At some point during the conversation, I dropped the phone on the floor and it landed under the bed. So I had to lie on the floor and stretch for it. I then saw something that caught my eye. There was someone under my bed. My eyes widened and I choked the urge to scream. The person under my bed was lying still with his back towards me and his head to his chest so I couldn't see his face and he didn't see me. Trying to be rational while so many thoughts rushed through my head, I picked up the phone, said, Sorry, I dropped my phone. I'm just going to go take a shower and I'll call you right back. The bathroom is right beside my bed, so I hastily walked in, quietly locked the door, turned the shower on, and jumped out of my window. My apartment is on the first floor. And then I called the police. They told me to wait nearby, but to go across the street and see if anyone comes out the door to the apartment complex. This was during the summer and it was still light out. So I placed myself across the street, hiding behind a car while watching my open bathroom window and the entry door. I called my boyfriend and he came to me just before the police. I gave them my keys and they went inside. Only moments later, two cops came out holding a thin and tired looking man. His eyes looked crazy, but he didn't try to get away. The policeman that had stood beside me and comforted me while the police searched through my house told me that the man stood outside my bathroom door with one of my kitchen knives, waiting for me to come out. This man had somehow crept in my entry door while I was getting my mail and hid under the bed. The man that was trying to hurt me turned out to be a homeless person and was placed in a mental hospital. My boyfriend moved in with me the very next day. This happened a couple of months ago. It feels hollow to put a catchy title on what happened to me because it freaked me the fuck out for a while. But I think it fits this community. I was driving home from work at 2 a.m. I'm a nurse and I live in a small city. The roads were totally deserted and it was a freezing night. I don't live far from work, maybe a couple of miles. I'm driving down a residential street around the corner from my house and I see a man laying face down in the street. Now remember, I'm a nurse, so my first thought was, great, gotta help this guy get up. I was coming off a long shift and falls happen all the time. As I slowed down the car, I suddenly realized what an idiot move this was. I'm a hundred pound woman and I don't carry any weapons. I thought I should do something to help the guy, so I called 911 as I drove past him and slowed to a stop at the end of the block. While I was stopped at the light, I explained to the dispatcher that there was a man in the road who might need assistance. All of a sudden, I hear a loud BANG! BANG! from the driver's side window. I screamed and looked over. A man was pounding on my window and jiggling the handle of my locked car. I looked in the rearview mirror and saw that there was no man lying in the street. Still on the phone with 911, I screamed, I'm so scared! 
to the dispatcher and floored her through the red light. I quickly told him what happened, and even though I was right by my house, he told me to keep driving. After a few minutes, I had calmed down and he told me to loop back around. I pulled over down the road from my house and stayed in the car. I didn't see the man anywhere, so I got off the phone with the dispatcher who told me he was sending a police car to cruise the area. As I gather up my things, I do a final scan of the area, and I see the man. He was walking with two other men. I hunched way down in my car until they were far down the road, then bolted into my house. I don't know if he had ill intent, but it freaks me the hell out that he wasn't alone. Always lock your car doors. In the mid 80s, my mom was a cleaner in Australia. She would clean houses in suburban areas and would sometimes do houses in rural or wine regions. She would leave business cards at the local shops and got most of her business this way, and some through referrals and word of mouth. One day, she got a call from a lady who sounded like she was around 60, asking mom to clean her old farmhouse. She made a lot of odd demands, and mom would usually meet clients before taking on new business. In this case, the lady did not want to meet Mum and said she would leave the keys under the front doormat. Mum agreed, mainly because the lady was quite obviously wealthy and was offering to pay Mum substantially more than she would reasonably expect. Mum went to the house on a Monday morning and she already felt unnerved by the long driveway. The house was essentially in the middle of a very large and very empty property. She found the keys and started cleaning. About an hour into the clean, she hears the back door shut. Mom was told no one would be at the house, so she immediately felt unsafe. She stood, frozen in the kitchen, for what she said felt like three to four minutes, although she said it could have been much longer. There was no other car on the property. She wanted to leave immediately, but had two rooms left to do. Both were bedrooms. She said as the time passed and she heard nothing else, she decided that perhaps it was nothing, or perhaps something had fallen and it wasn't the door after all. She walked up the hallway and stepped into the bedroom. All over the bed were black and white photos. As mom got closer, she realized the photos were all of her. Some were taken at our family home and many others were taken at the other houses mom would clean. Some through windows or over fences. She used the house phone to call the police and immediately drove to the end of the driveway. The lady ended up being investigated, but continued to claim that this was a break-in. After some time, the police stopped their searching and we ended up moving to a new town four months later. Every time mom tells me this story, I get serious chills. Absolutely a true story too. To this day, my mom thinks the lady had something to do with it. But why? And for what purpose? <laughs>